I have two program, it'll say program files, and then it'll say program file 64. But apparently they haven't got it on here. Yeah, you have to, you have to have, you don't have it 64. I, I don't have it. Nope. 64, you have 32. Yeah. Yeah. But, what they were saying back here, programs that are generally 32-bit will install in program files times 64. See, that's what you'll see. That's what I was looking for, that, that program files times 64. Get yours and get and see if you have this. If you have this, it should have program files. And if you clicked on program files, you would be on 32 bit. Wow. wow. Really? Wow. I have Windows 7 64 mode. I would like programs running on 32 especially to be able to run on my computer. What do I need to do? That's, what you, that's where you're at. Why? Here's the answer. Programs that are generally 32 will install if you have this program. Programs that are generally 32 will install if it's supported by the operating system. That's two people that said the same thing. So apparently you can run 32. Now, it's actually a program files times 86. You should be able to run all modern 32-bit programs on 32-bit windows. But you may struggle with older programs and games. So the older the program, the harder it would be. But if you got a fairly recent one, it would work easier. Now, let's see what else. That's all we got here. But, um, so, how do I convert to 64 and to it should, The program should be in there. If not... No, it's, 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 the problem is, it's, it's, it's designed for 32, not for 64. The, the, um, uh, uh, bring this up. Let's see if you got if you got this six, sixty-four program okay. or the eighty-six times eighty-six. If the programs you meant drivers, then there's nothing you can do aside from reinstalling thirty-two bit version of Windows. And how do you do that? Which is a bad idea. You don't do it. Basically, everything but drives written for times 86 will run just fine on 64. But you are having trouble with or just anticipating problems in the future. If drivers there are not written for the 70, then installing Windows Vista. 64 bit and see if that works. That's, that won't work at all. If you have older applications you need to run, you have, you have Windows 7 Pro or higher run XP mode, it runs 32 bit mode or run 32 bit virtual machine or get new software. I don't need to tell this anything. The only thing I know 
that has anything to do with what we want is way back here. Programs and files times 64. Okay. Let's see if you've got. Okay, so um, uh, on C, you want you want to right click on that and okay. Expand. Here is sixty four, here and here's you, you got six, you got eighty six, and here is the this, other. This is running your sixty four. This is running your thirty two. Why? So if you can, if you can run it on. You're going to run it on how you're going to run it. You don't say how you're going to run it on that though. See the that's the, the um uh, Bravo Crest. See. Our partition magic. Partition magic is running on on the young the young the young one the the um sixty four not running on six on, on not running on Assisting magic is running on 64, not running on 32. So can I, should I just do it over again? Pro programs that are generally 32-bit will install in programs times 64. If it's supported by operating systems. Now that's not the one. Here's the one I was concerned about. Programs are generally 32 will install. Well, that's the same thing. Most of these guys say the same thing. They say that they will install in when, but you have Windows 86. You have times 86. Wasn't that times 86? Times 86. And that's down here now. then there's nothing you can do aside from reinstalling 32 bit, which is a bad idea. Basically, anything but drives, drivers written for x86 will run just fine on x64. But that don't say nothing about 32. Oh, here it is, yeah. Well, They're just saying that 64 will run on 86, is what they're saying. Yeah, I don't get that about, uh, about 32, 64, and 86. 86. That's right. I'm, I'm getting confused. That's, that that's, um, so there is a, 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 a program that's 86. Apparently, well, you got eighty. Yeah, apparently you got eighty-six. But, but, but they, okay. 
But uh, these other ones were talking about 64. But okay, it's called yeah. uh, 86, right? You're right. B but uh, and the other one should be just programmed. You should have just programmed. But um, then it says 64. 64. Yeah, that's what they. That's what he says here. Run just fine on 64. I mean, I thought it said 64. What? Well, uh, this yeah. says 86. 86. Yeah. What, what is it? I don't know. I have no idea. This is the first time I'm running across that. And I got it through Google. Because I asked Google, how do you, how do you do that? And of course. generally 32-bit will install in program file time 64 if it is supported by operating system. Then down here it says it's actually program files times 86. He's saying that program files times 64 is actually that is what this guy is saying. Okay. So, they're using two nomenclatures for the same thing. All right, if that's true, programs that are generally 32-bit will install in program files times 64, or will install in that. But it's not installing in that because you, you are in this. What I'm trying to say, if you scroll back and find find the program program file, and you scroll back, and then back, back up. Um, yeah. All right. That's the program file. And this other one is program 86, which is your 64. Read 
detailed version of Windows 7. Include both 32 and 60. Yeah, that's what I have. I have the both. I have the 32 and I have the 64. you got to 232 bit. Let's see what that says. Down here it is Windows 7, 64 bit to 32. 